Here we have something that looks like it would be a quotient rule to take the derivative of. It has x's in both the top and the bottom, which means for antiderivatives, we're going to use u sub. u is going to be the denominator, just the expression 2x squared plus 1. We're going to take the derivative of that. du dx is 4x dx when we multiply both sides by dx. So u is 2x squared plus 1. The derivative of that is 4x dx. And now we're ready to switch our bounds. So I want to figure out what is u when x is 1 and what is u when x is 3. My old lower bounds from 1 to 3 are going to switch to u values. So I'll plug in right where we have u's and x's related. So u is 2 times x squared plus 1. So in this case, 2 times 1 squared plus 1 which is going to be 3, and 2 times 3 squared plus 1. So remember to do PEMDAS, don't do 2 times 3 is 6, and then square it. It is 3 squared, which is 9, goes first, x1 is first, 9 times 2 is 18, plus 1 is 19. So we are really taking an integral from 3 to 19, I want to remember u is in the denominator, so automatically it is to a negative exponent. In this case, it's the negative third. And then lastly, I want to see if I have a perfect du or not. So for this, du is 4x dx. In order to have my du, I have an x and a dx. That is one fourth of my perfect du. In other words, I need a 4x dx in there, so I can put a 4 in there if I want to. Visualize it and see it. But if you need a 4 in there, you'll put a 1 fourth outside to balance it. So I have 1 fourth and a du. Now I'm ready to integrate, which means I'm going to add 1. Negative 3 plus 1 is negative 2. So I'm going to have 1 over negative 2, u to the negative 2. And instead of a plus k, I'm going to do an evaluation bar from 3 to 19. And I'm going to multiply these fractions together. In the top, I have 1 times 1 is 1. In the bottom, 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And fundamental theorem says plug in your upper bound minus plugging in your lower bound. So I'm replace u with 19 being raised to negative 2 and then 3 being raised to negative 2. And then I can grab my calculator. Most calculators will need this fraction put in parentheses. And um, we can plug in our upper bound minus our lower bound. And an estimated answer for this would be about 0 0.0135. Or an exact answer, we could hit math, enter, enter on a graphing calculator. Or the F arrow D button on a scientific calculator will usually take that decimal and turn it into a fraction for us, which is 44 over 3249. This is called the exact answer, and this is the approximate if we needed it rounded.